Hi all, my name is Haley Comet and welcome to my cousin corner of the internet where we discuss all things astrology and today, Taurus Descendant, what you as a Scorpio rising are looking for in love. We are understanding the high vibration or the positive side of the individuals that you partner with or attract as well as the shadow side that you need to be mindful of. So this is part of my new series, Exploring the Descendant, because when we talk about relationships and partnerships, it is all about the descendant. This is the angle within our chart that represents what the ideal other is, the energy that ideally complements us, where it feels that we don't identify with, so what we look for in others to balance us out. So we'll be diving into what it is that you are looking for as a Taurus descendant, what you should look for when it comes to your business partnerships, your relationships, your partnerships of all sorts. If you wouldn't mind, if you gain any value from this video, if you can consider dropping a like, commenting something below, what resonated, how this has shown up in past people that you've partnered with, any little nudge or button that you want to click, they are below and just so appreciated by me. And without further ado, let's dive in the light or positive side of the individuals that you attract as a Scorpio rising. So let's break down the energy of Taurus and the lighter energy of Taurus. So Taurus is a very steady, sensual, stable energy. And this balances you out because you as a Scorpio rising, you see the world through this Scorpionic lens. And if you want a deep dive into how it is that you see the world and how the world sees you, check out my Scorpio rising video that goes in depth. But we're going to focus on how the energy that you can feel like you don't have necessarily accessible, how you look for that in others. And because you are someone who is so intense, continually in a state of transformation, your life is continually in a state of upheaval and of rebirth, you are looking for someone who is your steadiness, who is your stability. Because with Scorpio rising, your world is continually evolving. Your world is continually transforming, burning down what you were prior and arising into what you will be. It is the energy around continually being in this cycle, around becoming your strongest, most resilient self. And in that pursuit, because you look at this world through such an intense, penetrating gaze, seeing the truth within everything, at times your behavior can, can go into self-sabotaging territory, or you can feel like you're constantly in crisis, that it's hard for you to build within this world because you can feel like you build, you get into this, you get into something, and then you have to tear it all down or you need to rebuild something else. It's continually this process of transformation for you. So your ideal match in business partnerships, in relationships, is someone who is a builder because this is your opposite sign. That's what descendant is, is the opposite of your ascendant. And Scorpio is about destruction, whereas Taurus is about building. Whereas you gain more out of your life through the subtraction rather than the addition, you are looking for someone who builds steadily, consistently, because it grounds you. You see the world through such an intense lens that love and relationships and partnerships should provide you stability, should ground you down, should be someone that you know you can rely on no matter what personal crisis or turmoil that you are in. And it's not to say that your entire world will be in crisis, Scorpio rising, but, but you probably are aware that you do have this journey around continually rebirthing yourself, continually evolving. And so when it comes to connections, that is your safe place. That is your happy place. That needs to be your space where you feel grounded. And so your ideal match is someone who is that stability for you who makes your nervous system feel safe. Because as a Scorpio rising, you can be very accustomed to the emotional ups and downs. And when you meet someone nice and stable, sometimes you can dismiss them as boring. But I want you to know that oftentimes when we're accustomed to love being all of this ups and downs and movie moments and drama, when we find someone who's just steady, who is practical, our nervous system doesn't get those butterflies. We can be like, oh, this is boring. But that's just safety. That's just you feeling at ease around this person. Sometimes butterflies that are like a fight or flight or fight or flight symptom around not feeling safe in this person's presence, right? 
Like I want you to look towards business partners and relationships that are steady, that make you feel safe and that allow you some stability within your world. And it's not to say that they physically need to be a home builder, but I want you to think of individuals who, you know, while everybody's going to go through ups and downs, they're pretty consistent. They're pretty much the same day to day. While there can be trials and tribulations, they show up consistently. They are there when they say they're going to be there. They're there for you when you are going through things. And they're rather consistent when it comes to their preferences, when it comes to their projects, their working world. And when it comes to Taurus, I want you to be very patient with the process. Because you are an all or nothing person as a Scorpio rising, sometimes you can find people who, in embody this taurian archetype what is it you're looking for again doesn't need to physically be a taurus just someone who embodies the energy that i'm expressing right now when you find these individuals you can feel frustrated because you are someone where it's like you're discerning because you're very intuitive you can really read people so it's like when you find someone that you love you are just obsessed with them but i want you to really pay attention to the connections that want to go slow and steady and build remember you are the the sign of destruction again the sign of strength because that is strength is being able to destroy it and then rebuild and assume your sense of power nothing wrong with that but i want you to pay attention with connections that just built brick by brick layer and being very patient when it comes to relationships. It could be annoying because you're a Scorpio rising. So it's like, oh, nothing. What do you mean we're not drinking each other's blood and being obsessed with one another? Paying attention to people who are steady and patient and make your nervous system feel safe because your world is through this lens of transformation. Let relationships be your safe space. Let them be your stability. And beyond that, you can be drawn to provider types. It is what it is. With Taurus, Taurus is the archetype of money, of food. Individuals who provide resources to you, whether it's they feed you a lot, whether it's that they earn money for you and that they're very generous in giving for you, you are drawn to individuals who can ground you down via ups and downs. And that could be emotional ups and downs, financial ups and downs, people who will make sure that you are safe and provided for as you deal with that. So the highest you know, the highest expression of this is truly someone who is a breadwinner, a provider, and is giving with their riches and what it is that they earn in order to create this safe haven for you. So let's get to the shadow side of the Taurian energy that you are looking for within connections. Firstly, you can be drawn to individuals who are just as stubborn as you are. That's the thing. Scorpio and Taurus, may, while they are different in many ways, are alike in their stubbornness and their single-mindedness. And you could get frustrated with Taurus in that they're unwilling to change. Like I said, what can be a positive in that they're steady, they're consistent, can also be a negative at times when they are refusing to change their behavior. Taurus is the energy around possession and accumulation. So when it comes to even values or habits, they are concerned with accumulating more rather than releasing. And this is where you can balance them off if they're willing to sort of integrate some of the behaviors that you exhibit, which is around transformation, evolution, being able to trust the cycles of life, then they can grow a lot. But if they are stuck within their bad habits, within accumulation, refusing to evolve past their habits and their values and their daily routine and all of those things, then you can feel really frustrated with them. They're not one to be forced into anything. They generally need to want to change. And it can be annoying when dealing with someone who has sort of this Taurus archetype, again, not literally a Taurus, just needs to exhibit somewhat of Taurian energy. Um, the shadow side of people that you can attract are people that are stubborn and single-minded and stuck in their own ways and refuse to transform. Also be mindful around being drawn to people who are very materialistic. Like I said, that energy balances you off because you're really looking for a deeper experience in life. You're really looking for psychological evolution for this experience of depth within your world, really understanding the inner workings of your life and transforming beyond it, really making your own desires come true. And you can be drawn to people who, yes, like I shared earlier, are breadwinners, are individuals who provide for you all of those things. But you can also find that these individuals can be overly attuned to the physical material world and not necessarily wanting to swim into the spiritual metaphysical side of life with you, not necessarily wanting to consider 
you know, that you can't take it with you. Like Scorpio being the sign of death, it's not that, you know, you're, you're going to die or anything like that, but it's about this energy around, you're not going to be able to take the yacht and the Lambo with you. And while your relationships can be the source of groundedness for you, stability. So while you go through ups and downs, knowing that you are cared for and provided for can be very soothing for you. It's important that you are mindful around individuals who think that's all that there is, right? And are just constantly concerned with accumulation and not necessarily being willing to balance out your desire for something deeper out of life. Because the best meaning of this is really when they can provide stability and sensuality for you and you can provide this invigoration of change and transformation for them. When you can sort of guide them into these deeper depths of life that they weren't necessarily privy to. And I also wanna highlight that Taurus energy is very sensual. Like they are individuals that love cuddling, they love touching, which is a beautiful thing because Scorpio is a very, very sensual sign as well. So you are looking for someone to meet you on that vibration and on that level. What I wanna say is that with Taurus being the sign of possessions, sometimes they can confuse people with possessions or as their possessions. So you can find that you have a tendency to attract individuals who have anger problems or who are very possessive over you because you are looking for something intense out of your connections. At times, you know, what can be stable and loyal and consistent for some individuals, you could be attracted to individuals who are possessive, who want to own you. Like Taurus is learning about the world through things that you can taste and touch and see and smell. And sometimes they can confuse the people in their life as just another one of their positions and want to control how it is that you dress, how it is that you talk. So being mindful around that when it comes to partnering, like, okay, is this person viewing me as an asset to their world or simply as another possession next to their Lambo. And it's not to say that every single person that you date will be wealthy, 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 but typically they will be concerned with building stability for themselves. And the highest vibration of this will be able to extend that generosity to you. So to get more information about your ideal match, your ideal partnership, I want you to find your Venus within your chart. So let's say you have your Venus in Pisces in the fifth house. That's going to color the sort of individuals that you are drawn to. So yes, while you're still drawn to Torian themes, Again, doesn't need to physically be a Taurus, although that can be supportive. You will also be drawn to Venus and Pisces type individuals, so people who are who do provide that stability, but stability that also is very creative and artistic with fifth house things and, and stability that makes you feel very spiritually cared for and supported with Venus and Pisces. So I want you to notice your Venus placement because that is your descendant ruler. Notice transits to that planet can indicate certain transformative relationships or partnerships that come into your life or depart your life as well as color deeper what it is that you are looking for in the ideal other because ideally this is an energy that complements and balances you and that you complement and balance so it's not to say that you need to set your new eat to just looking at taurus <laughs> signs within your life but it is saying like pay attention to a if these people make you feel safe if they make you feel grounded if they make you feel cared for, if there is a sensuality within the connection, if this is someone who is loyal and consistent day in and day out, because consistent is something that doesn't necessarily describe you, Scorpio Rising, and we love you for it. Like I love my Scorpio Rising clients because it's so fascinating to listen to their lives. They're like, yeah, when I was in my 20s, I was with the circus, and they, they live a life that's very wealthy in experience. They bring a lot of intuition and power and shrewdness to a connection, but it's important to balance that with someone who is consistent day in to day out to allow them to ground down via their emotional and psychological ups and downs. It just is helpful when you embark upon relationships and partnerships. So let me know what resonated below. My Instagram handle is at Haley Comet Astrology. My TikTok is the same. I would love to connect with you over there. And until we meet again, drink lots of water and stay cosmic.